Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today is Thursday, the 8th of March 2018. It's actually International Women's Day, so if you're a woman watching you right now, happy International Women's Day to you. Well done for being a woman and being a great woman, hopefully. Anyway, today I'm seeing a musical called, or I don't even know if you can call it a musical necessarily, apparently it's more like a play with music in it, but basically I'm off to see Girl from the North Country. It's at the Noel Coward Theatre, but it used to be at the Old Vic Theatre, I think last year or something. It's been getting some really good reviews and it's been nominated for quite a few years as well, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's based on Bob Dylan's songs, I don't really know Bob Dylan's music that well, I maybe know like a few of his songs, but I'm not like a massive fan of his or anything. But I'm excited to see the show anyway, just to see what it's like, and I've, you know, some of my friends have seen it already and they've said good things, so yeah, it should be fun times. I'm also meet my friend Sam now to get some food before the show so come along on the journey. We are now in Nando's uh, which is... <laughs> we're in Nando's. <laughs> Sam, you met her before. Hello. We're enjoying her butterfly chicken and garlic bread and chips which we've shown everyone how much food and we Well it's good though. Apparently at Nando's you can always order. And halloumi which <laughs> is nice as well. How are you? Nice to meet you. Um, anyway, so yeah, the show starts in about half an hour, no, 45 minutes something, I'm waiting for my, is it 45 minutes? Or am I exaggerating? Uh, 55. 55 minutes, we've got plenty of time guys, it's all good. So I'm waiting for my food, which is probably the similar to Sam's, don't worry, I also like my garlic bread and chips, just not spicy. My food has arrived now, um, with a lot of mayo, obviously, I mean, look at the size of the situation, amazing. It only took about 25 minutes for mine to come after Sam's game, didn't it? Sounds really good I'm about to start mine. <laughs> this is going to be great. We are now outside the Noah Cow Theatre, which is where Girl from the North Country is playing. So you look at the posters. Oh, Debbie Carrop is in this. I didn't realise that. Claudia Jolly. This is the cast. I, I really like the logo actually guys, look at it, it just looks beautiful and it's a really good cast and the trailer, I mean, I'm just very excited, it ends 24th of March so it's going to go about two weeks to go, we need to collect our tickets, I bought my tickets on today tickets and I'll tell you about them more later on about the code and everything, but yeah, I'm not been inside the theatre in a long time so it's li I'm looking forward to life. We have now entered the theatre as you can see we've got our tickets, we're in row S have stalls. My tickets fell, but they're back now. We're in room S of stalls, which is very exciting. Um, hopefully, good seats for £25 from today's So that's great. This is the like merchandise section again. I'm going to show you some of them. Sam's just buying her program over there. But you get t shirts, you get the CD, some mugs, a program, the book. The show starts in about five minutes. So we're exciting times. We are in our seats now. This is the lovely view that we have in room S of stalls. Are you excited about it? I am. You like it? Very. I did the whole story of it. Did you? Yeah. Okay. I think it's called Bob Dylan. I don't know. Oh, is it just called Bob Dylan? Okay. Fair. I don't think I've read it. But um, well done. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I'll talk to you probably in the interval. Bye for now. <laughs> it's interval, guys, and so far. Beautiful. Such a beautiful show. Sam, are you enjoying it? I mean, we've already discussed this, but you can tell people. <laughs> it is great. The cast is fantastic, the music is great. Some of the songs that I've got this I didn't even like, I, did, I didn't think I was very familiar with. I mean, I still don't think I'm very familiar with the songs, but there were so many songs I'm like, oh, I should recognise them. And you said there's a very good arrangement of them as well. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. at him. Phenomenal. Um, I'm obviously going to talk about well, the whole fast station when I get home, but the cast is fantastic. It's very, um, quite an intimate show as well. Like, you know, it just feels like it so, yeah. the band's on stage. It's beautiful. I'm so happy I'm here. Like, thank you <laughs> for suggesting it because I wouldn't have even thought about coming here. So I'm just excited and I'm like, oh, life is great. So obviously it's interval. It's rather packed here in the spa area. Um, quite a small theatre. There's no doubt. I haven't been here in a while. Anyway, um, that's all I have for you for now. I'll talk to you again just before. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry about that crazy moment. <laughs> um, I'll probably talk to you when we go back to our seats. Pack two is about to start now, guys. Exciting times. <laughs> you really sound. Hello, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> we just had another I was starting bye 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 We have just left Girl from the North Country. What a Lord, it's quite busy. What a stunningly beautiful show. I mean are you taking a bit more? Okay. Tell me your thoughts please. Um, it was so beautiful. It's it really really yeah, was the arrangements of the music. The story is it's just tiny vignettes of bits of story. Yeah, it's not like the best it's not the best plot. 
but, but no, it's not because the character, the, the, well, the acting I think is so well done by yeah. everyone. Yeah. Um, you really feel for everyone. Yeah. yeah. I'll talk about it when I get home. That's goodbye to Sam though. Hi. Can you talk to one second? I'll see you when I get home. I am now back home as you can probably tell because that's where we started and my mayo bottle's still there. Lord have mercy, we'll ignore that. Anyway, let's talk about um, Girl from the North Country because it was so, 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 so beautiful. It was more or less what I expected from the show because I'd like read a few reviews and stuff before I went in. Um, a lot of people who had seen it before, some of my friends said that it's more like a play with music, which it was, I agree. Uh, they're calling it a musical. It's been uh, nominated for Best Musical at the Olivia's, which is great, but it's up against Hamilton and a few other shows and Hamilton's probably going to win. But, you know, uh, it's in a musical category, but it, it does feel more like a play with music in it. Um... I loved it. I really did love it. So the story itself isn't the strongest. It's not like you don't go see the show for like an incredible plot, but that's okay. Because I feel like the characters, basically, let's just start from the beginning. Not the beginning, just to start from the basics. It's set in Minnesota in like the 1930s or something in America, something like that. Um, during a difficult time, um, <coughs> apparently like a dip quite a sad depressional, is that a word? Depressional? Maybe I'm making it into, I'm turning it into a word. Time for a lot of people at the time. And it just features a lot of different characters and how they're dealing with their own battles and struggles in life. Um, but it's beautiful because it's a really strong cast uh, and two of the performers in the show quite um, deservedly have been nominated for Olivia's as well. I wasn't sure which ones. I, I kind of guessed, now I've double checked and it's the exact ones I was hoping um, they'd be nominated. So I'm going to get to the cast in a second. But yeah, so it's basically about these characters and... Um, yeah, their journeys and their struggles and everything and how they all kind of relate to each other in some ways. Um, and the songs of Bob Dylan are just intersected into the, the story. And I think most of, the, most of the kind of main characters each have like at least one song that they're the main focus of. And they all had such beautiful, soulful voices. And the arrangements of the songs were beautiful. Like, I didn't really know much of uh, Bob Dylan's music. Like I said, I maybe knew like a couple of them. Uh, a few of the songs I was like, oh yeah, I'd, I've heard these before, but I, you know... It's not like I'm a, I've ever been a massive Bob Dylan fan or anything, although now I'm going to definitely go and listen to some of his um, maybe more obscure songs because this um, musical, this show, doesn't just include Bob Dylan's like most popular songs. Uh, I mean, so his most popular songs are in there, like Hurricane, I'm guessing. I mean, I knew of Hurricane. I was one of the few that I actually recognised. And there's another one that's very famous. I can't remember the name of it, though. But yeah, it, you know, whilst it does include some of the more popular ones, it does also have a lot of ones that like aren't necessarily that well known which I think is good because it works so well and you know the arrangements of these songs were beautiful it was almost like just nice to hear different voices different characters like female voices male voices different kinds of voices from different uh, just it was just beautiful every everyone in the cast had great voices everyone was able to just like really touch me <laughs> with their with their singings with their performances um very soulful I it was beautiful it really really was um I'm going to talk about I think her name is Sheila Atim, uh, who played Marianne. I'm going to show you a picture of her. Also, by the way, thank you to my friend Sam, who let me borrow her program, because I completely forgot to... Well, I, I was going to buy a program at the end, and then just, we, we just left her an exit, and she was just like, you can use my program to do this vlog, so thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you a picture of um, Sheila, because Lord have mercy. I don't think I've ever seen her in anything, but she is a phenomenal actress. So, this is her over here if you're focusing on her she's done quite a few bits and bobs but i don't think i'd ever seen her in anything and she plays the role of marianne in this um show and she is a phenomenal actress like whenever she was on stage i couldn't help but just like be mesmerized by her and just i couldn't stop myself from, like from watching her um she did a song in act one that was just i don't know what the name of the song was it was it was beautiful like i was just like this is insane like she just it was goosebump inducing and her voice was beautiful and just a phenomenal performance, honestly. Then we have Brona Gallagher. I hope I've said her name right. Uh, she played the role of Mrs. Burke, which is this character here. She was fantastic as well. Great voice. David Ganley played Mr. Burke, so obviously they're together in the show. Um, everyone in the show was great, but I'm just going to name the, the few kind of, I guess, um, leads. Shirley Henderson. Lord have mercy, did you know that she played Merlin Myrtle in the Harry Potter series? I didn't even realise that she was in the show until, like, just before we went in and my friend Sam told me about this. I don't think I'd ever seen her in anything apart from her role of Moaning Myrtle in Harry Potter, in the Harry Potter series. So it was my first time seeing her in, like, something different in a, in a theatre show, and whoa, she is 
a phenomenal actress and she's been nominated you'd be happy to know that both her and Sheila Atim are nominated for best um, actress Sheila's nominated for best uh, supporting actress in a musical and Shirley Henderson quite rightly so is nominated for best uh, actress in a musical she played the role of Elizabeth and she's this like she's kind of basically someone who suffers with dementia just she's a bit crazy I guess life has made her crazy and she plays that role so well just a role of a crazy person but also I, I think it's just the subtlety of her acting she's so subtle with it at times that you really believe her and uh, me and my friend Sam again were discussing this um she has a monologue towards the end of act two it was just beautiful like she delivered that so so well um if you've seen it you'd know what I'm talking about but yeah she was phenomenal and she even sang a bit and she, she's just she's great um and a lot of the cast members actually obviously um there was a band on stage I don't know if you would have seen it or not uh when I showed the stage a little bit by the way we had really good seats I'm gonna talk about that in a second but yeah um the, the band was kind of on stage there were instruments on stage and um quite often you see some of the members of the cast actually kind of go around and and play some of the instruments as well um Brona Gallagher played the drums at one point. It was just really cool to see that. It was it, that I think that's what made it feel very intimate. It kind of reminded me of Once the musical, um, although I think I prefer this. Like Once was a musical that I quite enjoyed when it was around, um, but it had that similar kind of vibe. Even from before the show started, just from looking at the set, I was like, yeah, it, this kind of just feels like a bit of a Once vibe. Um, but yeah, the music was great. The set was great. It felt very cozy, weirdly enough, even though it was quite cool in the theatre. It was just. It's a really good show, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I don't want it to, this, this review or this uh, section of the vlog to go on for too long, but Girl from the North Country, I also really enjoy the programme. I just love the design of this. I think it's really well done. It kind of just, I don't know, it, it shows what the show's about pretty well through just, like, some writing. Ignore my clothes. I feel like my room is just a mess. Very quickly, two more people in the cast I forgot to talk about. A Debbie Corrupt is this, you can't even see her, this lovely lady here. I've seen her in quite a few things before. Um, I think I saw her in um, The Bodyguard, actually. That was probably the last thing I saw her in. But also, um, back when Sister Act was on in London, she was in that as well. She was fantastic. And also Jack Chaloux, which is this guy here. Um, I think I saw Jack Chaloux in like a really random show years ago, and I, haven't, I don't think I've seen him since. She, he's done quite a few... I, actually, no, he was in Charlie and Chocolate Factory, and I did see him in that. Um, but yeah, I think I can't remember. What it's, I don't. I can't even see that near the near of that show on his credits because I think it was quite a. I don't want to say irrelevant show, but it was like a, an off West End show years ago in two thousand and maybe eleven. Um, but he did like a number in Act Two, and he had a really great voice as well. So I just wanted to mention both of them as well because they were both fantastic. Anyway, let's quickly talk about my tickets and how I got them. As I mentioned earlier, very briefly, I got these tickets through the app Today Tix, which I've talked about before. You might have already heard of the app yourselves, but Today Tix, if you're a theatre fan, is a really great. App. App. if you've never used it before download it it's free and I've got a referral code I'm gonna put the code here right now next to me but it's basically GKKAM and if you use that code uh, for your very first purchase on today takes you get like 10% off or something like that which is good because I mean today takes offers pretty good price tickets anyway but obviously if you can get a discount on it as well that makes it even cheaper and also then I get like I think a bit of credit into my account so basically we're both helping each other out if that makes any sense to so do that if you're thinking of seeing uh, girl from the North Country. These were the, the rush tickets that you could get from on the day, like at 10 o'clock they go on sale and there's only like maybe 8 or 7 or 8 of them available. So you have to, if you want to get these ones, these tickets, they were in S of stores for £25. Um, you obviously have to make sure you're awake at 10 in the morning and like on the app exactly at 10 o'clock because they go really quickly. Um, they were worth it though, I thought the view was really good because uh, it's quite, quite a small theatre and row S was actually I think maybe the second or third row from the back in the stalls. I didn't realise um, that, you know, it only went uh, that up to um, row S because most other theatres go to, like, row Z, if that makes any sense. I'm just rambling now. Um, basically, the show was great. I need to stop hitting myself. I still feel quite emotional about it. Like, Act 2 was quite intense. Um, even though, like I said, the story is just a bit, like, not that much of a story. You still, because the performances are so strong, you really do feel for them and the monologues and just kind of, the, you know, the way people are acting it. Um, yeah, and it obviously it, it touches on some sad issues as you could imagine um from the time that the show is even set okay <laughs> i feel like i've been talking for a long time uh, again happy international women's day i mean by the time this vlog goes up that has already passed 
gone but i've been going around telling everyone every woman most women i saw uh, today like i went to where did i go earlier i went somewhere random and i was like oh happy international women's day when women's and as i said that to a random lady that worked there i mean why not i feel like you should celebrate it um so yeah that's it though please leave comments down below let me know if you have seen girl from the north country whether it was here at the normal cow theater or back when it was at the old vic um hopefully well, there will be a future for it i really do hope that it wins at least something at the olivia's um even if it doesn't win best musical which it probably won't because you, you know we just know that hamilton's going to win that um and i don't mind because i love hamilton as well but um you know if one of the girls at least wins like best actress or best supporting actress that would be great for it because i just want a future for it. i think it could be nicely done on tour or just maybe even back in london at some point um but yeah thank you for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time bye